In this video, I'm going to show you three ways for how to track developer activity in cryptocurrency projects. Let me start by looking at the core devs for a project and who the internal team and how they're working within a cryptocurrency project and how that's displayed within GitHub on open source repositories. We're going to dive a little bit into more third-party smart contract platforms which rely on third-party developers to build within their network. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the core developers or the inside team and how they're working within an open source repository. So here I've uh, Googled Solana GitHub and this has come up. If you can't find it on Google, you can probably find a link in the socials to a GitHub repository on the websites of most major projects. So along the top here, we've got a list of options. We can go into insights and then contributors. And this will give you both a kind of timeline for contributions over time. It'll also give you a breakdown of what every developer is doing. So we can see individual developers here, both anonymous and um, docs to developers who are currently working as core devs on the Solana uh, repository. We engage from this, as you'd expect that Solana has a pretty big team. There's a lot of developers working on it. It's not just some kind of a personal project for someone that's doing this on their own. If you want to take a look now at the third party developers and who's building on Solana, we can then do this with advanced search. So this is at github.com slash search slash advanced. And we can use something like a search query for Solana program or any kind of like code snippet, which is kind of often found in smart contracts. And we can look at this for the last year from 2023 to present. And we can then go through and see what's being built. So we've got Solana Native, Solana Devs. This guy's building a compressed NFT mint program. And there's, there's 351 different repositories um, here. To, we can go through and look and it'll give us a feel for the, not only how much is being built on Solana, but also the quality of the projects and if it's kind of just um, hackathon type entries and people dabbling or if it is kind of commercial uh, relevant stuff that's actually kind of gaining traction in the space. If you want to take this a step further, there's actually some code in the blog post linked in the description for creating an API query. So you can go in and create an access token for GitHub and then you can use this code snippet or probably some your own code snippet. You can pop this into ChatGPT or something it'd be more than capable of doing this. And you can query for certain keywords. So here we're using the Solana program keyword again. But you can really do use anything. You can use like um, a certain Solidity compiler version or something if you want to query EVM type stuff. And what you can do then is track a bit like developer activity over certain periods. So over each month, how many new repositories are popping up for that are holding this particular keyword. And that can give you some insights into how these projects are kind of gaining developer traction over time. The next thing I definitely recommend taking a look at is Electric Capital's developer report. This is a brilliantly compiled list of charts and information where you can check the developer activity on different ecosystems. It's got a total number of full-time developers and part-time developers, and it's got metrics for how this has changed over time. I hope you found this information useful. If you want to learn more about blockchain development and decentralized finance, then subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm, and thank you for watching.